hi engineers you are welcome to um, the last episode of start pro for beginners um, in this episode I'll be showing you how you can print a report you can generate your report in PDF or in you know, JPG as picture so when you are done with the analysis the design the connections and everything then you now need to you know create a report so this will help you to create the reports when you want to create a report you don't need more than this tab okay just this portion so you need this particular one which is print um you need this one which is um print um preview you need um this one which is the report setup i don't know why it's not bringing the name okay now it's bringing it this is the report setup this is um for you to take picture this is for you to export your view and then this is for you to print um a current view and this is for you to preview your current view okay so let me take you through how you can use all of them all right so now let's begin um let's say um this particular frame that i have here i want to export this frame as a picture you know how to save it as a picture um you know instead of you to start using your sniping tool and start sniping or something like that you can actually take a picture so you can export this whole view so all you just need to do is come to this tab you can see this export view so click on the export view and then you are going to you know you can change your so it will bring you to a particular directory but you can you know just change where you want to save it then you give it a name let me give it um frame and just give it frame okay and then you can see what you have here the savers you can see bitmap so if you want to save it as bitmap bmp or jpg you know or whatever so let me just save it as jpg okay so um this is what i have then you can click on save okay so that will automatically save that then let's see if it is there so let's go to um picture okay so here it is just double click so that we can view that all right so you can see um the um picture so this is the view the view has been exported as a picture so if you want to get just this you can do just that all right so that is perfect let me close this um i can close this now but what if you don't want it as a picture what if you want it as a pdf okay if you want it as a pdf there is still another way you can do that all right so you can do this you can come to this second um to the last you can see print current view so this will print the current view but let's say you are not sure of what it will print maybe you are confused on what it will print maybe you are confused maybe it will print all of this ribbon at the top all of this you know all the ribbon at the left and everything you just want to preview this particular view before you print it then you can click on this last one which is print preview current view so when you click it it will show you the um the current view so this is exactly what it will print all right so this title block can be filled by you okay so you can zoom in as much as you like to see everything so you can see what you have here still structure and blah blah blah, blah. so let me close that so for the details on the on the title block i believe you know how to do that that should be under setup when you go to set up then you can fill your job title your client and everything so every detail you put here is what will be appearing on that title block all right so if you want to print this particular one all you just need to do is what you click on this you know this one is for previewing you're just previewing you're not printing yet so this one we print it so when you click on this you'll be able to print as pdf you can see the name so you can see microsoft print to pdf so you have um this one is also to you know to document writer adobe pdf whatever so you can just click on microsoft print to pdf then um pages if you have several pages but it's, you know just one page so click on all then if you want maybe just one copy just type one copy here then you can click on ok so the moment you do that it will print it as pdf okay so let's do that and then click on ok then it will just print that so right now it is printing internet it will tell me i should give it a name so let's say um film still let me just give it film and then let me put it in desktop so i can easily delete it when i when i'm done okay so um click on save all right so it has saved it let's see that um let me just my uh, minimize this then this is it here yeah? um let me double click on this all right so it is open all right so you can see um what we have here so this is the frame you know and then the title block is just um right above okay so um let me close this so um let's go back to start pro 
okay so now let's do uh, a more elaborate one where you just don't want to print your view you want to print your analysis result your design result and then many more okay so um to do that let's say for example in that report i want to print i need this picture so you click on this you say take picture so click on it then this is the whole structure automatically it knows it is, uh, it is the whole structure so you don't need to um, change this it's not necessary and if you want to you can change that but this is what is essential this is the id so let's say this is um let me just say um frame okay that's the name i want to give to it so click on okay all right then let's say i want to see the um you know the 3d rendered view go to 3d rendered view i also want to see that in my reports okay so this 3d rendered view you can just click on take picture again take picture then the name is picture two let me call it 3d view let me say view one okay you can have that let's say you want to you know you want to rotate and then see in this um side view you know this, let's say this is the side view right they want to take a picture of the side view again you can just say take picture then you give it a name again let's say 3d side view you know you can take as many as as you need okay so just take all that then um i can close that all right you know you can take more pictures um let's say for example you can go to um post analysis and then let's say you want to see the bending moment diagram okay so um let's say for example the bending moment diagram we can maximize this and then you can hold your control so that the bend moment diagram can be more visible you know something like this okay then you can as well take picture of that you know let's take picture let me call it um bm which is bending moment bmd you just call it bending moment diagram then you say okay you know just take as many as you want you know concerning picture now the next thing for you to do is you have to organize what should be in your reports you know if you ask it to print all of the reports that you can have about 1000 pages you know what is necessary and what is not necessary you have um, the full right over the report you want to create you'll be the one to create your report so you can set up your reports so to do that you can come here where you have your report setup so when you click on report setup then you are going to see um, a lot of things if you don't want the job info you can just take it here you know the job info will not be part of um your stuff okay let's say um under your input you know input is what you actually input it right let's say under your input you want whichever wants to read the report to know um the basic load cases you use so you can take that you want them to know your combination you can take that uh, maybe you want them to know your beam section and everything you can take section too so click on this drop down arrow then let's see for outputs you know output is the result you got right so let's say you want them to know um your beam force detail or let me come to combined stress you want them to know your combined stress for the beam you want them to know your maximum shear force for the beam you want them to know the maximum moment for the beam you know that is enough right so you can also go to pictures you know we took pictures so you can go to pictures so let's say this um all four pictures that we took we want it to be appearing so let's take that you know i don't have to i don't want to have many things in my report because the more you have it the more it will take longer to print it out okay anything you want to do you know if you've done your ram connection reports you know if it is available just place them here so if you want to print directly you just click on print okay just click on print but right now i don't want to print i'll just click on okay all right so before i print it i want to preview what i've um what i've you know set up so you come here and then you click on print preview so that's where you want to preview your reports so as you can see this is page one right um let me try to zoom in you can see this is page one right okay so that's perfect so if you want to go to the next page just click on next page here if you take it to the next page you know these are the stresses these are the beam major stresses so this is the shear force diagram as the shear force result i mean okay so let me just okay so um previous page so these are the pictures we put you know i inserted this picture i also inserted this picture so the pictures you insert will be there so click on next page i inserted these two pictures too so i think that's that's all okay so if you have more you want to insert just insert as much as possible then you can what you can print directly from here okay you can print directly from here again you know that's another chance for you to print 
then you can close that if you don't want to use that then you can come here again now you can just come here and click on print so you can now set up everything here you know if you want to save as pdf and then you know how many copies and everything so you have um, your property where you can either save as um, portrait or landscape all right so that's um that so if that is okay and you also have the advanced okay so that's when you want to save the paper size for example as a4 or whatever you know you just save it like that so um that's all so if you are done doing that just click on ok and then click on ok then it should print it just as it's printed that okay just close that so this is exactly how you how you do that so this is how you create your reports you know in your reports you can control what you want to have in your report if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and then you can turn up the notification button so that you can see more videos when i post them thanks for watching